Hey guys, it's Liam from Killer Inc. And today I'm going to be talking about the Venom PS2 power supply from Lithuanian Irons. The Venom PS2 is smart, powerful, easy to use, and has been the power supply of choice for many tattoo artists over the years. So let's take a closer look. The front of the PS2 features a color graphics display with over 20 special display designs offered, as well as more than 10 background and text colors to choose from. In addition to being able to change the screen fonts, you can create your own unique style of display and save it to one of three memories. The Venom PS2 also offers fully adjustable menu browsing speed and sound options, while you can alter the menu language between English and Russian. The display at the front of the power supply will display all machine parameters and can be turned on or off to suit your preferences. The machine parameters that will be displayed are as follows. Volts, Hertz, Duty Cycle, Follow Through and Amps. Voltage can be adjusted between 1.5 and 20 volts in 0.1 volt steps. While the power supply offers a maximum DC output current of 3 amps and peaks up to 6 amps mean a smoother machine running without losing power. There are also two timers, one for the active time of the session and the other for the total time elapsed. As you can see on back, there are two machine connections here, as well as one for your foot pedal and an input for the power adapter. If you are using two machines simultaneously, you simply need to press one button to cycle between them quickly and easily which is especially comfortable when using different types of cables like the RCA and clip cord ones that we have used here. Up to 10 machine programs can be stored for every machine input, making it easier to switch between them while tattooing. The Venom PS2 power supply has three pedal modes, Momentary, Trigger and No Pedal. In Momentary mode, you must keep your foot on the pedal for as long as you want your machine to run. On the other hand, use Trigger mode to start your machine with a press of your foot pedal and then a second click to stop it. If you don't want to use a foot switch, then simply turn on No Pedal mode, which allows you to turn your machine on or off by pressing one button on the power supply. As well as featuring the coil mode, which is a standard mode for running coil machines, the Venom PS2 has three rotary modes, slow, normal, and boost. I will display the speed, aka hits per second, of your rotary tattoo machine. The slow rotary mode is recommended by Lithuanian Irons for rotary machines. Using this mode will smoothly accelerate the motor in your rotary machine, thus increasing its lifetime. Normal Rotary is a classic mode for rotary tattoo machines and will start your machine's motor immediately without acceleration. As its name suggests, you can use the Boost Rotary mode for those machines that need a little extra boost to get started. This mode increases the starting voltage up to 5 or 12 volts, depending on which you select. For those tattoo machine builders out there, the Venom PS2 comes with a machine analyzer which works like an oscilloscope to show you the momentary value of current with all peak values on the color display. In terms of the build, the Venom PS2 has an anodized black aluminium body with laser engraved front, side and rear panels. The standard power supply has a cushioned base and a magnet for increased stability. With the stand, the PS2 has a height, length and width of 13, 15 and 6 centimeters respectively. Including both the stand and the adapter, this power supply tops the scales at 830 grams. Made in Europe and offered with a one year warranty from Lithuanian Irons, the Venom PS2 is available to order from Killer Inc via the link in the description below. So now that you've seen it, what do you think? Will the PS2 be your next power supply? Let us know in the comments below. 
hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.